Hello there, and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries. Cast your mind back to the beginning of November. You may recall watching a video of somebody who was daft and giddy after the success of his Mallorca trip bravely declare that he was going to ride 3,000 kilometers by the beginning of March. What an idiot. Well, here we are at the beginning of March, and I thought it might be fun just to see how many kilometers that idiot actually rode. It will come as no surprise to learn that I didn't actually manage to do the full 3,000. But all in all, by the beginning of March, I'd ridden 1,500 kilometres, give or take a few kilometres here and there. Now, while that doesn't sound too bad, approximately 1,000 of those kilometres were ridden between January and the end of February. And then November, December, I only rode approximately 500 kilometres. So... Definitely the, the emphasis was in the new year rather than in the autumn. Now my general rule of thumb is that you need to ride approximately 1500 kilometers to achieve your base fitness. And basically I've kind of done that. But if you dig in a bit deeper and have a look at the actual individual rides themselves, you'll see that they're not desperately long. The furthest ride I've done since returning from Mallorca was about three weeks after I got back when I rode up to Boris Karloff's house and that was 66 kilometres uh, and then in the new year the, the furthest I've ridden was approximately 55 kilometres a couple of weeks ago. While these rides are all fine and dandy, they are after all kilometres in the bank of fitness, they're not doing a great deal for my endurance. For that, I really need to get out on the bike and do longer rides, so 2 hours, 3 hours, 4 hours, 60, 70, even 80 kilometres, especially now that I've got 8 weeks before the Isle of Wight Randonnée, which is 110 really tough kilometres. Unfortunately for me, I've kind of lost a little bit of enthusiasm over the last couple of days and I'm kind of putting this down to the weather. Last week it was 15 degrees, sunny and absolutely fantastic. And this week we're back to the normal cold, wet and windy that we have this time of year. And I just don't fancy going out on the bike. Plus, my legs were pretty tired over the last couple of weeks of riding. I've done a fair few kilometres, so it's not really a, a surprise. Uh, and I think this week I really needed to take a little bit of a rest. Annoyingly as well, I'm starting to develop a little bit of knee pain in my left knee. Now, if you remember a couple of weeks ago when I was having some problems with a bike fit, that was the leg that was causing the problems. And I think I'm not quite over that just yet. Um, even the last few rides that I've done, I, I felt that it wasn't 100%. So I, I really do need to get that completely sorted before any of this knee pain is going to go away. A couple of weeks ago, I was talking about the Isle of Wight Randonnée, and obviously I couldn't count because I thought it was eight weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago. And looking at the calendar, it's actually eight weeks from last Sunday. So I've still got plenty of time to train for that, but it's very, very quickly approaching. And before I know it, it will be on me uh, and I will be riding around the Isle of Wight feeling really bad because I haven't put enough training in. So with that in mind, I really am going to have to kind of sort things out, plus I'm going to have to lose a bit of weight as well. I did touch on this very briefly last week. Um, to be honest, I haven't really made any moves towards that because of one thing and another. But uh, with eight weeks to go before the Isle of Wight Randonnée, I really am going to have to focus on what I'm eating, try and eat a lot more healthily, 
uh, and try and lose a few kilos because the Isle of Wight is really, really hilly. And for every kilo that I can lose between now and then will make the climbs much, much easier. And so it begins. It's Monday morning and that's typically the day that everybody starts their diet or healthy eating regime and it's exactly the same for me. Now I've already had my breakfast which was a nice healthy bowl of porridge and I'll be eating fairly healthy meals for the rest of the day. Now I'm not going to go into too many details about every single meal. That would just be uh, absolutely awful but um, suffice to say the, the meals that I will be eating will be fairly healthy so they're not going to be anything too radical so it's not going to be anything like keto it's not going to be vegan it's not even going to be vegetarian it's just going to be regular food and yes I will be eating meat um, but I will be eating a lot more things like fruit and vegetables uh, and cutting down on things like red meat, uh, carbs, uh, and, and all the bad things, so salt, fat, and sugars. Uh, plus, I'll also be reducing the, the very small amount of alcohol that I do drink, so that's obviously not good for you. Uh, and just hopefully, I'll be getting a bit lighter for the Isle of Wight, Randonnet, and the hills that uh, I'll be encountering on the ride. Now, like I say, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the, the ongoing uh, healthy eating. Uh, I might mention it from time to time, but it's not going to be the emphasis of this vlog. This vlog is all about cycling and enjoying riding the bike. And if losing a few kilos is going to help me to enjoy it a bit more, then I will mention it a little bit. But like I say, I'm not going to focus too much on it. Seeing as it is Monday, that means it's my night to go spinning at my local gym. I did go last week and that was just about the only cycling I did last week as well. And to be perfectly honest, I didn't really enjoy it. Uh, my heart rate was quite low. I couldn't get it above 75% of my maximum. And that should have uh, had my alarm bells ringing right there because generally speaking, when I can't get my heart rate up to kind of 80, 85%, it's kind of suggesting that I'm tired and I need a rest. So that's exactly what I've done. I've had a week off the bike. I've got a bit more enthusiasm for it today. Uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to my spinning this evening. It's with the male instructor, Chris, so he's pretty good. And yeah, it should be a great night on the bike and then that will stand me in good stead for the rest of the week and I hope to get out and do some proper road rides once the weather improves. And finally, a piece of parish news. I've just started up a Patreon campaign, so if you'd like an exclusive invite to a live Q&A session with me once a month, please go along to my Patreon site and the details are there. I've included the web address in the description below this film. So that's it for the moment. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you found this film useful, please like and share. And if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please consider subscribing for my regular weekly uploads.